Texas cheerleaders are shot after one of them accidentally gets into the wrong car at a parking lot near Austin. One of them is in critical condition tonight. The other suffered only a graze wound, both emotionally traumatized. It is the latest in a string of shootings that began as innocent mistakes and ended in gunfire. John Finolio here now with a look at this dangerous and disturbing trend. John. Cher and Micah, the victims mistakenly rang the wrong doorbell, pulled into the wrong driveway, or opened the wrong car door. All of them were shot. The question now, were these cases of self-defense or unjustified attacks? It was unfortunate these girls were um, just trying to get home. Lynn Shear is referring to two of her cheerleaders who were shot Tuesday after they mistakenly tried to get into the wrong car at a supermarket parking lot in Elgin, Texas. The girls were carpooling from the Austin area to their gym in Houston for practice when two of them were dropped off at the lot and accidentally opened a car door that wasn't theirs. A man inside allegedly pulled a gun and began firing. Baylor University bound cheerleader Peyton Washington remains hospitalized after being shot twice. Her friends sustained a graze wound. Police later arrested 25-year-old Pedro Rodriguez Jr., who was charged with deadly conduct, a third-degree felony. Why he shot the girls remains unclear, but it is the latest in a string of shocking and similar shootings across the nation over the last week that have renewed concerns over controversial self-defense laws known as Stand Your Ground, which are on the books in dozens of states. In those states, there is no duty to retreat from the harm and you may use lethal force in public if you reasonably believe that your life is in danger. On Saturday in upstate New York, 20-year-old Kaylin Gillis was shot and killed after the car she was riding in accidentally turned into the wrong driveway. Homeowner Kevin Monahan was arrested and charged with second-degree murder. KTLA legal analyst Allison Treasel says while California does not have stand your ground laws on the books, it does have very robust laws when it comes to self-defense. What that means is a Californian does not have a duty to retreat in public, but the threat of the perceived harm must be objectively reasonable. The force used must be proportional to the threat and you cannot be the aggressor. You have to show that they posed an immediate or eminent threat to your safety. Last Thursday, 16-year-old Ralph Jarl was shot when he mistakenly went to the wrong house. That 85-year-old homeowner identified as Andrew Lester. He shot him twice. He later told police he was, quote, scared to death. Fortunately, Jarl is recovering now. Lester appeared in court today. He pleaded not guilty. We'll have much more on this story coming up at 11. Back to you. John, thank you.